it's an Audi RS3. Pure white, Indian grey, tornado red. BW Golf R, massive favourite amongst you guys. Hello and welcome back to our latest in the PDI series. If you're new to this type of video, basically we have a huge big warehouse where we get all our cars ready PDI'd for customers before delivery. And what we like to do is take a bit of a walk around, show you the cars we've got on offer, talk about them, say what we like, what we don't like about them, a bit of a conversational type thing. So let's get started. It is grey and it is raining and it's just a bit miserable. But something has brightened my day up. As soon as we walked in, and I've not seen one of these for a little while, so it's really perked me up. It's an Audi RS3. It's definitely been a minute since we've seen one of these cars. Production supply has been really restrained from Audi on these type of vehicles. But yeah, it's definitely been a while since we've seen these. This one of these cars, because I think there might be another one that's around the corner. So if you stay to the end of this video, no, there is another one of these in a different colour uh, we can have a look at as well, so stay tuned. This is, uh, I think it's nano grey, this colour. I think it's the nano grey. Um, correct me if I'm wrong in the, in the comments. Looks absolutely stunning. Still got a protective packaging on there from the, from the transit. Just to keep the car nice and safe, ready for its customer. But yeah, really big fan of that colour. Couple of things I'm not overly impressed with on this car, and it's hard to slag off the RS3 because it is such a fantastic car, such a fun car to drive. Those wheels look a little bit, a little bit plain to me. Just a little bit flat, I think. And also, you mentioned as well, Colin, we were looking at before, we possibly do some bit of red in those brake calipers. Yeah, they should be red, not black, shouldn't they? I think so, yeah, just to make it stand out a little bit. But we are, definitely, we are picking. We are nitpicking, aren't we? Because it's such a nice car. Let's take a look inside. Ready for transit. So again, also a lot of packaging on, or protective packaging on this car just to keep it safe. Let's see if we can get this uh, all full leather. Mm. Mm. Very nice. So obviously you're not going to take the, the full cover off, at least be respectful, it is not our car. It's a customer car, this is going out to someone very soon. Um, but yeah, really nice car. Um, feel like the interior could do with a bit of a freshen up, personally. My thoughts are well publicised on the pop-up screen for the navigation. I'd say again, the main thing about this car, you're buying it for the driving experience. Nothing else, really. That's the main thing. So that's the RS3. Um, like I say, we've got another one around the corner, which we'll look at towards the end of the video. Um, but I want to know what your thoughts are, are on the colour of the car, if you like that or not. I do, I think that's a really nice colour, it's different. That's what I like about it. Uh, and what you think of those alloy wheels as well. Mm, I'm not sure about those, I think they could do with something a bit different. Um, I think we could definitely do upgrading those. But let me know what you think, let's see what else we can find. Right, so that was a good start. Let's see, this is like the customer base, this is where these cars are ready to be picked up pretty much. Like, I think it's got to screw the number plates on and that's about it. So drivers are coming for these cars today. So we're not going to be able to get too close looking into them because like I said, they're valeted, pretty much ready to go. But let's see what we've got. Let's have a wander through. Again, good start. Golf GTD. Indian grey. Looking good, it can't be this car. No. What it is, performance car with a fantastic MPG, great styling, good practical car. I don't think you can go too far wrong with the GTD. Real favourite of mine. I hear people say they're getting in excess of 60 MPG on these cars on like, you know, if they're going 60 on the motorway, going steady with it, on a long journey against 60 MPG. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Love that interior as well. Very nice. That's the screen that should be in the RS3. Definitely should be in the RS3, that screen. Absolutely, we know how you feel about the pop-up screens, don't we, Dave? <laughs> Let's not go there. What I like to do when we're here, and what 
one of the great things about coming to the PDI Centre is you get to see such a mix of cars. It's not like we're going to our Audi Centre or our VW Centre where you're obviously going to see solely those models. Here, there's a good mix. And um, what you occasionally get, fate has it, where you have two models which are pretty much the same model, um, different manufacturers side by side. So it's good to do, good, you can do a comparison. And we've got this here with the Audi Q2 and the Seat Arona. So let's take a look. Ooh. So styling wise, you've got to give it to the, um, the Audi, yeah. the Q2. That front grille looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, really sporty. Obviously it's the new grille for the Audi range. And the Seat one, not quite as good, but you know, again, we spoke about that on previous visits to the PDI Centre. You know, um, it's difficult to compare like the Audi flagship to the Seat. Although they're very similar vehicles, we're not going to make the Seat as attractive or as you know as good looking really as the Audi because you're paying a premium for that. So they're not going to give you the same looks for a lower cost. Um, so it's a trade-off. What you get, you know, if you want to pay less and have a similar, you know, similar size vehicle, basically the same car. A lot of the time, better spec as well with a Seat over the Audi because they're going to give you more spec for your money. But it hasn't got that styling, that premium feel to it that the Audi or the Volkswagen has. So you've got to work out what that that, that payoff is, what the trade-off is. Both great cars. For me cost difference, certainly on a lease, you go for your own all day long, it is so much cheaper than the Audi and I don't feel you've seen that, that value for money in the, in the extra cost on the Audi, you really don't. And let me know what you think, would you pay, how much extra would you pay for an Audi over a Seat? I'm definitely going for the Seat, now we've had a closer look round, certainly at the Alloy Wheel Department, uh, we can't show you the interior because both these cars are actually locked unfortunately, but interior wise, I'm probably edging more towards the Seat. You think? think that? I think so, yeah. I think it's just, I think it's the screen that's doing it for me. Yeah, oh, here we go again. Pop -up <laughs> I know, I know, like a broken record, eh? Yeah. But I think, yeah, definitely, it just looks a little bit fresher for me, the Seat one. I'm, I'm going for Seat. I really am. I don't think there's a lot in it, personally, especially with the price difference. It's so much more expensive. And here's an interesting little one uh, that's grown on me quite a lot recently. I think if you look back through the archive of these PDI sort of tours we've done, I may have mocked the Citroen on a number of occasions, but the more I see them, the more I actually really like them, especially out of the DS range. What a cool little car this is. I mean, first time car, you're not gonna grumble at that, are you? No. Stunning little car, really funky little car. Right, so that was a good little find. Let's keep it moving. Let's see what else we can, uh, what else, what other little treasures we can unearth. with. Uh, apologies, by the way, there's quite a lot of rain noise, but I mean, it's middle June in the UK, so it's what we expect, rain. <laughs> so everyone's favorite SUV, the Tiguan R-Line. Love this car. You all love this car. I don't think there's many a bad word that can be said about it. And we've done a couple of cool little reviews on this car, so if you want to check them out, they are up there. Take a look. Let's keep it moving. Loads of GTIs, in fact. Pure white, Indian grey, tornado red. And then if you spin round, deep black. Fair few. It's GTIs coming out of our ears. Ooh, colour wise, what do we reckon? So, pure white, that's free of charge. Indian grey, that's a metallic paint, that's £675 if memory serves me correctly. Tornado red is a special solid, so that is £345, I think. What are we going for? I'm thinking Tornado red. Mm. It's just oh, it's a tough one, this, isn't it? It is, it I is. I've been a bit indecisive today. Um, I'm going to go for Indian grey. Indian grey. Indian grey. Let us know what you think. Which one of these GTIs would you pick? I think Grey's going to be the winner. I think everyone will side with me. I think it's definitely going to be a Grey one. We shall see. Let's keep going. Okay, so before we go any further, if you're this far into the video, I applaud your commitment. What you might as well do now, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bells, so you get all our latest videos popping up in your feed. Good job. Right. 
couple of weeks ago we were very very lucky and we got to drive the Audi e-tron Audi's flagship electric vehicle uh, it was such a fantastic experience the link to that video is up there check it out uh, and in that video I mentioned that the colour I wanted to see the car in was Galaxy Blue and luck would have it there's one just there and also I said I preferred the standard alloys which were on the vehicle, the default uh, factory alloys, not the ones that were on that car which were free of charge, but they were, you had to change it in the factory for these like very typical Audi alloy wheels, not these little futuristic ones which are on this car. So it's pretty cool. Let us know what you think about these wheels in the comment section. I really like them. Now, they're not the most beautiful wheel in the world. They're not the most, pleasing on the island, I think it's probably the easiest way to put it, but if I'm going for this electric car, I want something a little bit different, it makes it stand out, and that's what those wheels do, Not, I don't see the point in paying all this premium at the minute to go for the e-tron, it's an expensive car, you actually you are paying the premium for it, and then try and disguise it as a Q5, it makes no sense to me. Now I've seen the Galaxy Blue in the flesh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure? I'm not sure now. It's difficult uh, because I've got still all this protective packaging on the car. I just, I don't know, it's nice, I like it. I'm not sure I want to live with it on as a daily driver. I think it might just get a little bit, might get a little bit fed up with it. I'm not sure, there's no huge judgment on that one. I'll have to have a little mull over that one. I'm just undecided. I think it would just annoy me. <laughs> I don't know why, why would a paint annoy you? But I just have this feeling that it would just do me in. But after driving this car for a little while on that extended test drive we did, I think the actual performance of the vehicle would just completely outweigh that. It could be pink, I don't think it'd give a shit, to honest with you. <laughs> I really wouldn't. Love this car, like I said, if you haven't watched it, check out the review up right there. <laughs> Let's keep going. So right at the start of the video we saw an RS3 and don't forget there is another one just around that corner. Ooh. Just around that corner, what colour is it going to be? Let's wait and see. Yeah, um, and that like I said was a little bit of a rare beast, don't see too many of those. We don't see an awful lot of those at the minute either unfortunately. BW Golf R, massive favourite amongst you guys. I can't wait to start seeing more of these in the PDI centre because that means we get to drive one again very very soon and I love driving this car such a fun car to drive even the estate believe it or not love the estate version of that car really do fastest way to get all your shit to the tip <laughs> a little T-Rock here again really like this car it's funny what they're doing these manufacturers these little voids they're trying to fill with all these different slightly different cars you've got the T-Rock the T-Cross you know there's not a lot of difference between the two, but they're trying to find these little marketplaces and seeing which one sticks. And then I guess after a couple of years, one of them, either the T-Rock or the T-Cross, probably one of them's going to go once the uh, the sales figures are in. Because I don't know. I mean, they're just far. They seem too close to me. You know why they, you need both those in the market at the same time? I don't know. I mean, I really can't. The only thing I can think of is Volkswagen, in this scenario, Volkswagen are putting these two similar models out there and like I say, just trying to figure out where the market is, what the customers want and then one of them will get killed off. It is the R-Line. I wasn't sure at first because those wheels, I wasn't sure they were the, R the normal R-Line wheels. I'll have to have a look at that. Um, spec wise again, really good. Just what you expect from Volkswagen. Just get it bang on every single time, almost. So here's another example where I said the Citroen DS range is really starting to grow on me and I'm really impressed with it. I think this is the DS7, I think. Take a look in a minute, I'm pretty sure it's a DS7. That's a great looking car. I don't think, I know it's a Citroen, but style-wise, you can't argue with that. You can't say that is not a good looking car. Yeah, so it is a DS7, a little check on the back. <laughs> Alloy's a little bit on the small side, got to say. But other than that, the style of that car, I don't think you can argue with. I think the biggest test is going to be interior-wise. 
Is it a little bit plasticky? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ooh. You happy? That is, do you know what? That is so nice. Oh, I'd have to show you one. I can't just tell you. I'd have to show you. <laughs> That is seriously impressive. Interior wise, seats look fantastic. A ton of Alcantara. They've really mixed it up and put together what looks like a really premium level car. Check out the back seats. Impressive. That is good, that is good. I am quickly shifting my opinion on the uh, on the Citroen range, mainly DS. Let's get it straight, DS only. <laughs> Here's another really good looking car, the VW Arteon Shoemik Yellow. Love it. Again, we have a video of this car. It's up there, you can check it out. Really good looking car, really, really nice. The thing that is good about this colour is, I think a little bit unique, is it almost looks better the dirtier it gets. Weird, eh? That's weird. It is, but it's true. Okay, so at the start of the video, we saw the RS3 Sportback um, in Nano Grey, I think it was, and I told you about another one that tucks around the corner. And to be patient, and you have been, so if you stay through to this, well done. <laughs> Here it is, an RS3 Saloon. Are just rare beasts as it is. A saloon, even rarer. <laughs> So this looks absolutely fantastic. Beautiful colour. It's got the uh, red brake calipers on it as well. The first RS3 we saw was great. I think this is better. I like the saloon. I've got to say, I really do like saloon the cars. So although it's a little bit unusual, yeah, and I'm probably on my own, or not on my own, but in the majority, minority on this one, I personally prefer the saloon. But what I really do like about it are those wheels and the red brake calipers. So whoever has spec this car up, sir, oh my, I doff my cap to you. <laughs> <laughs> because this car has been spec'd up so well. I think whoever's gonna be driving this car is one lucky person and the neighbors are gonna be pretty jealous as well. I am, everything's been done right on it. I like the color, I like the wheels, I like it being a saloon, red stitching on the interior just all works so so well so yeah let me know what you guys think would you prefer the sportback in the nano grey or the metallic black in the saloon version of this rs3 let us know in fact we might even do should we do a little poll let's we do, it. do that can't we yep vote up there sportback or saloon which one would you have if you've enjoyed watching this video you can watch more like this here and here. Thanks for watching, see you again soon.